So you purchased a new pair of sunglasses and they claim to offer 99.9% .9 UVA and UVB protection or protective eyewear that claims to protect you from UVA, UVB, and UVC exposure. Are they really what the manufacturer claims? Let's be honest guys, how many people are actually going to check? Not many. How about window film for your home or vehicle that you were told blocks 99.9% .9 of UVA and UVB exposure? Not too many people would check for that either. As you know, locally and online, there are many UVC wands, water disinfection units, as well as UVC lights for aquariums. Unfortunately, some are not, or they're extremely weak, too weak to kill microorganisms in a short period of time. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily and accurately test for UVA, UVB, and UVC exposure. What you see right here is an inexpensive and reusable UVA, UVB, and UVC detection card. This card uses photochromic colorimetric analysis in order to determine if you have exposure to UVA, UVB, or UVC. The box at the top is designed for testing UVC devices. It could be a UVC wand a UVC water disinfection unit, or even a UVC light for an aquarium. When UVC light is detected by this box, between 250 and 270 nanometers, you're going to see the letters UVC show up. And then once it shows up, you could place the light in close proximity to this area here. And then you're going to have an idea of the strength of the UVC output. If you're testing UVA and UVB, you're only going to have a detection in this area. It's going to say ultraviolet, and then you're going to see the color start off very pale at this end where it says moderate and low. And if it's high intensity ultraviolet light, it's going to show up very dark, even as high as purple, like you could see right over here. Let's take this outside and I'll give you a quick demonstration. I have this covered up. I'm gonna slide it out in direct sun in just a minute, and you're gonna see how rapidly that bottom right panel changes. The UV light that we're exposed to at sea level, 97, 98% is UVA, 2 to 3% is UVB, and 99.9% .9 of UVC is blocked by the ozone. And you can see how quickly this change is coming up as high, and nothing showing for UVC. Right here is a piece of ordinary glass that you'll find in a window or picture frame. And just to show you that it allows the majority of UVA to pass through, even though it does block UVB and UVC, I'll slide this out quickly and you can see the intensity is almost the same as before. Okay, you just saw the test outdoors. Now I'm going to show you how to test the sunglasses. The good thing is I don't have to do this outside because I already tested using this UV flashlight. It's extremely powerful. If I turn it on, hold it right here, you're going to see it's just like being outdoors. Okay, so let me start with this one first. To test is very simple. You're going to take the card in a shaded area away from any light. You're gonna take it, place it against the inside of the lens, hold this against your shirt so the light can't hit it, Walk into direct sunlight, aim the lens directly at the sun, wait about 15 seconds, and then slide it down quick. It should be white, and then very quickly turn to that purple color as the sun strikes the card. Let me give you a quick demonstration. Hold it right over here. And when I pull this away, there should not be any of that purple color on that strip. If the lenses are blocking out 99.9% .9 of UV A and B as this manufacturer states. Let's take a look. Nothing. Perfectly white. So I know that these definitely work at blocking out UV light. Let's try another one. Of course you wouldn't have this flashlight. You'd be doing this outdoors. Take this away. And you can see nothing. Sometimes I've seen glasses where you're going to see this just like a pale color. That's an indication that the glasses are not blocking out 99.9, .9, maybe 80%. And you also have to realize that when you're wearing glasses, even with them blocking out 99.9% .9 of UVA and B, 
you're still going to have exposure to your eyes. The reason is the UV light is going to come in around the sides, it's going to reflect off the inside of the lens, and it is going to go into your eyes. So that's the reason why you want to make sure that your glasses are definitely almost 100% UV blocking because you're always going to have UV light that's going to sneak in around the edges unless you happen to be wearing very tight fitting wraparound glasses or goggles. Before I perform the test on the UV protective glasses, let me do the UVC first. Right here is the same exact UVC wand that I showed you how to convert into a UVC water disinfection unit in a previous video. There were a bunch of viewers that turned around and says, oh, that light from the dollar store is not going to be putting UVC light out. It's a fake. So let's check it out. Put this on. As you can see, UVC. I'm going to place this about three quarters of an inch over the area. And we're going to take a look at the intensity. So it is a UVC light. And look at that showing like moderately high. Now I'm going to take the UVC wand and irradiate this card one more time with a piece of glass over the card. Ordinary glass should block UVC. If this light puts out more than UVC it's going to show up over here but if you don't see the letters here you're going to know that the glass blocked the rays. Here we go. And there's no more UVC showing in that box. But if I go over here, let's see if it's giving off more than UVC. And it is. Not as strong as before, but there is probably UVA and B also coming off of this lamp. Now to show you that this is quartz that I used in the previous video, I'm going to hold it right here and turn it on. You can see UVC, it's about almost an inch away, 25 millimeters, placed over it and lay it on top. Now I want to take a look at these protective glasses when I purchased them a while back. I was told they protect against UVA, UVB, and UVC. And look at that. UVA is making it through. So these are not doing a great job with UVA. The card really didn't get that dark, so I know it's not super high strength making it through. And we do not see UVC showing up through the lens. So it's blocking UVC, but not UVA. Okay. These claim to be 99.9% .9 for UVA, B, and C, just like the other glasses. Nothing. Nothing for A. Nothing showed up. Now let's try UVC over here. Looking good. I don't see anything showing up in that little panel. So these glasses appear to work well for UVA to UVC. Many people have their vehicles windows tinted and some brag about the low price they paid for their supposedly 99.9% .9 UV protection film. Now you can easily check the window film to see if it's 99.9% .9 UVA and UVB protection. Testing is simple, make sure the window is facing the sun, take the UV detection card, hold it within about a half of an inch for about 15 seconds, and if it's 99.9% .9 UV protection, the color of that panel should remain the same. And this one here is showing a very slight change where it says ultraviolet, very slight. So I'm not getting 99.9%. .9. Yeah, I'm probably getting like 85, 90%. Just to show you right here is factory tinted windows. It's a very light tint. We're gonna check that. And you can see it's low to moderate and when I pull it off to the side, 
it gets much darker and you see it changing back so there is uv protection on this window but it's probably only blocking 40 to 50 percent as you just saw the card worked extremely well the best part it's reusable and it only costs 10 or 11 bucks and guys that is it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to rate thumbs up and share thanks for watching